Hey what's up guys welcome to customize the toy back with another custom rom for your tipo this is the MIUI rom so for, for some of the guys this rom is known and is familiar with them because they know this rom that it is already there for tipo uh, i've got many requests regarding installing this rom on tipo the reason why i didn't made the video regarding installing this rom because i didn't find this rom as a daily driver usage rom because this rom lags a lot and it is really really slow than any other custom rom i have tried in the tipo and that is made for tipo so that's why i didn't make the video but as you guys have requested i have finally made a video regarding the MIUI ROM on so installing this ROM on Sony Xperia Tipo and this one is the latest released uh, MIUI ROM for Sony Xperia Tipo even though it is the latest released MIUI ROM but it is still a laggy ROM for the Tipo so in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install this ROM on the Sony Xperia Tipo so let's check with the requirement first your phone should be rooted the CWM recovery should be installed on your phone and the bootloader of your phone should be unlocked in case if you guys haven't done that you can click on this annotations over here this will redirect you to the video itself or you can check the description column as well the video link is available for everything so once your phone meets the requirement you are ready to go for the download link of the ROM check the description column below the download link is available so just download the ROM and then place it on the SD card of your phone and also keep a copy on your PC because we need to flash the boot image from the ROM itself uh, before flashing this ROM. I have done it in my previous video. If you guys have checked my previous video, I have shown you clearly that how to flash those boot image uh, which is required for some of the ROM to be flashed. So now first let's flash the boot image and then we will install it and we will flash the ROM via CWN. So this is the downloaded file so this is the main rom so we will extract this rom first right click and extract this rom open the folder and then you can see the file over here that is named as boot so you will right click on it and then you will copy the boot file so this is a boot file copy the boot file and then open the C drive on your PC or go to the com my computer and here go to the C drive here you will see the folder name flash tool open the flash tool folder and then here you will see the folder name x10 flasher under scroll lib open the folder and then paste the boot image over here right click here and then paste it yes copy and replace paste the boot image once it is done close this folder now you need to open the flash tool on your pc so open the flash tool Open the flash tool, wait till the flash, flash tool opens completely. Once you see the message device disconnected, hold down the volume up key on your phone and then connect your phone via USB connected through your PC. So connect your phone. So in this way you will connect your phone via fast boot mode. Once you see the message that device connected in fast boot mode, then you need to open the command prompt on your PC. So you open CMD, type CMD and then open the command prompt. So now you need to type the word exactly what I'm going to type over here and we will flash the boot image on your phone. So you will type the word exactly what I'm going to type. In case if you guys get confused, I will be leaving the uh, dis uh, description regarding this in the description column below. You can also check over there. So you will type cd, sorry, cd space caps c and then backslash backward slash then flash tool. You will type flash tool then again backward slash then x10 flasher underscore l i b 
and then you are going to hit enter and then again you will type f a s t b double o t fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot i m g and then again you are going to hit enter and then now here you will type fast boot fast boot space reboot sorry reboot once you hit and uh, once you will hit enter over here your phone will now reboot and then you need to go enter into the cwm menu so hit enter so now your phone will reboot and we will enter into the cwm recovery mode you can disconnect your phone through pc and then you can close the command prompt and the flash tool as well after flashing the boot image once you see the free xperia logo repeatedly press the volume down key and we will enter into the recovery mode so now we are into the recovery mode now we are finished flashing the boot image so we are into the cwm recovery mode we will install this rom so first you need to do you need to go to the option wipe data factory reset here you will select yes once it is done you need to go to the option wipe cache partition select this option and select yes once done go to advance and then select wipe dalvik cache and select yes once it is done now we will flash the main rom itself so i have placed it on the external sd card of my phone so i will select the option go back and i will select install zip from sd card here is the option install zip from external sd card so here is the rom i have kept the rom here so select this option and then select select the rom itself and then select yes so now we will wait for the rom to flash completely Okay, now that the ROM has finished flashing, uh, we have finished flashing the ROM file. So I will go back and we will select the option again, wipe data factory reset. So you will select this option again before rebooting your phone, and then select yes. And it's done. Now we can reboot our phone. So I will reboot my phone. Okay, now this was the initial boot up after installing this ROM. I have finished the setup as well, so it will take a time. I mean, it will take even more, at least for five minutes. So don't do anything. Don't operate this ROM. I mean, don't operate your phone at all for the next five minutes. Even after installing this ROM, let all the app and let all the OS get boot up completely once. So just keep your phone for five minutes aside after installing this ROM. let everything boots up properly and then you are ready to go and install this uh, use this rom uh, on your sony xperia tipo make sure guys i'm telling you once again just keep it for 5 minutes uh, aside and then use this rom 
let the ROM load all the apps completely and then you are ready to use this ROM. I have made a separate video giving you the overview about this ROM so you can click on this annotation so over here this will redirect you to the video itself or you can also check the description column below the video link is available for the same so this will that will give you the general overview about this ROM and you can also give your review about this ROM as well so go ahead and install this ROM and try this ROM by yourself and also give your reviews by commenting on the comment column as this will help other users as well let, letting them know about your reviews as well so that's it for now in customize the droid if you guys enjoyed this video do hit the like button and comment on the comment column in case of any queries don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my video guys Till then bye guys enjoy customizing your phone with the new rom that is the MIUI rom for Sony Xperia 2 Pro. See you guys in next video.